Sheen Shots. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Sheen Shots channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the first patch for Definitive Edition. If you are wondering, what the heck is this? Why are we getting a patch? There's a lot of issues with the game right now. Currently, hexes are not working properly in co-op, and Primal Ritualist isn't really working at all. We're having trouble with enemy spawns. Uh, they're not spawning in, or they are spawning in in weird places when the character reaches that spot. A lot of other smaller issues that are hard to get into, but there's a lot of stuff people have been noticing that's kind of just a mess and has made playing the game slightly difficult for some people. So we're going to take a look at the first patch for this and see what changes have been fixed. And if your problem that you're having is not on here, just know they're still probably working on another patch. Uh, they're going to be coming out with some extra ones. So the primary focus for this patch, it looks like, was the skills. Um, if some of the major skills in the game don't work, it really does break some of the skill trees and make you stay away from those, especially Primal Ritualist. So let's get into this and see what exactly was fixed. And I'm going to let you guys know if I actually ran into these issues myself. So here we go. Jinx effects are now properly sinking. Okay, this was when Jinx would be applied to the enemy as a hex and it just wouldn't work. Uh, there were some issues with it. Should be fixed now. I did run into that issue. Instruments now apply their periodic effects properly. Totems were not applying hexes. That sounds like they should be now. Nurturing Echo is also in the Primal Ritual skill tree. Now triggers the instrument properly, which is good. Nurturing Echo basically heals you, gives your stamina back and your mana back, which was an awesome skill and wasn't working. So there, it looks like they're fixed that as well. Fixed issue where Rock Mantis life bar was displayed even when hidden. Now, I didn't run into that one, but if you're seeing the life bar of an enemy that's supposed to be hidden, it does break the immersion and the gameplay a little bit. Fixed Torment, not doing its effect when target is afflicted with confusion. Okay, it is supposed to do a hex explosion or something like that when the enemy is inflicted with confusion. I didn't run into that one myself either. Fixed Sweep Kick, not doing its effect when target is affected by Confusion. So there's another Confusion issue. I hadn't run into that one myself, I don't think. Fixed Opportunist Stab Effects, did run into that one. It broke daggers a bit for me. Was not enjoying the fact that my dagger was not getting the six times damage it was supposed to when the enemy was afflicted with pain and confusion. But looks like they take a look at that and fixed it for us. Fixed issue where client's stash would spawn initial loot more than once. Actually did run into this. It ran into this immediately at the beginning of the game. Um, I think what this is talking about is my buddy joined his game and got loot from his chest. And then when he joined my game, he got more loot from his chest. Uh, and I believe this was happening every once in a while throughout the game. So that should now be fixed as well. Reverberate effects now properly sync. Once again, this is also a Primal Ritualist skill, and it was a big problem that this skill tree was basically completely broken when they released Definitive Edition, unfortunately. But they are fixing it, so it looks like it should be good to go now. Items rotting in the stash won't display the notification anymore. I believe this is referring to how some people would get notifications on the left side of their screen saying foods were rotting, but they didn't even have those foods in their inventory. Uh, because it was rotting in the chest. I haven't put any food in my chest because I know it rots. So that could be, I believe that's what they're talking about there. So that should not happen anymore, I don't think. Assassin's Enchantment can now be properly applied. I did not do the Assassin's Enchantment, but if you were upset about that not working, it should be working now. Fixed an issue where enemy would spawn a few kilometers in the air in the open areas. This is not a fix to the spawns. I've seen some comments on the actual post on this. This is not a fix to the spawns, it's a fix to some of the spawn problems. So one of the spawn problems is that they're not showing up. The other one is that they're showing up in the air, I think, okay? So the one where they show up a lot, like really high in the air should be fixed. That's what it sounds like. That one should be fixed. I don't know if the spawns are, but that could have been part of the issue as well. So let's hope there's more enemies in places where they should have been. Fixed various instances where multiple version of croc would be present at the same time. <laughs> Did not have an issue with this one. I, I think that would be kind of a weird... That'd be kind of funny, but also annoying at the same time. Never had that one. I imagine that was a really weird bug. Uh, but that, that is a pretty bad one at the same time. So that should be fixed as well. Attempt to fix an issue where a known recipe would be lost when playing in co-op. This won't bring back lost recipe, unfortunately. So once again, this is the unique one on this list. It's an attempt to fix. So it sounds like they don't really know if the issue has been fully fixed. 
but the recipes that people were learning, it looks like were just being lost, or they weren't learning them when they were playing in co-op. Hopefully that is much better for you guys. Uh, not, not too much to say on that one, didn't have that happen. Enchantment on the legacy item will now properly apply when retrieving them from the legacy chest. So I guess if you were legacy chesting items with an enchantment, it wasn't working, but should be now. Fixed issue where cooldown skills would be stuck after loading. Didn't run into that one. Hopefully that is working for those people who ran into it. Fixed issue where some indoors were not closing after they've been opened. Uh, I think this refers to when you pay to have the pay to sleep in an inn, and then you try to sleep in a bed, and you wake up, you go out, and it wasn't closing. I think that's what it's referring to. So I didn't run into that one either. But inns are kind of you're supposed to pay the money to sleep in the inn, so that does kind of break that. Fix the issue where attempting to stop split would fail to do so when using a third-party controller manager such as DS4. Didn't run into that, didn't try that. Hopefully, if anyone did, uh, you comment down below if that got fixed for you so we know for sure. Fixed an issue where cursor would be visible when opening a menu, even when using a gamepad. I use a mouse, so I want the cursor visible, obviously. So I'm not 100% on if that uh, was a big issue for people, hopefully... Again, comment down below if it is fixed for you and you're not having that issue anymore. So, guys, these look like the some pretty good patch notes, to be honest. There's some nice stuff that was fixed in here. Jinx, uh, the Jinx skill, or the Hex skills themselves, and the Primal Ritualist skills themselves are... Looks like they're fixed. Uh, that broke the game, honestly. You can't have skills not working, especially the Opportunist Stab Dagger skill as well. You cannot have skills not working. That breaks the game. So it's nice to see that they prioritized those as that should have been a priority. That's for sure. Um, hopefully the enemy spawns. It looks like that might fix it a bit. I don't know how high in the air they were spawning. Maybe we were running under them while they were spawning. I'm not sure. So hopefully the spawns are a little bit better. If not, hopefully they will come out with a better patch for that in the next one. But uh, these aren't too bad. These are some pretty good ones. Hopefully they will help you guys play the game a little bit better. I know it's been rough. And there's definitely some more out there. But uh, this is a good start. And I'm glad that they came out with this decently fast. Uh, not too bad. I mean, the game's been out a, a week and a half, I think. So thank you to Nine Dots for getting this out here for us. We really needed this. And that's about it, guys. Just wanted to get this info out here for you. If you were worried about using Primal Ritualist because it wasn't working, it should be now as well as the dagger opportunist stab should help some of you guys out that's it for me today guys just want to give you a quick announcement on that and i will see you in the next video